Metrotech 100 Retro Pickup. Hello and welcome to Retrotech 100. Today I picked up some awesome retro gaming stuff. I was on Facebook, having to be looking around, and I found something for sale. It's a ZX81. Now, I didn't end up getting a ZX81, but I did do a deal with a guy. His name's Kevin Galvane. If you're watching Kevin, thank you for trading. I traded a mobile phone, some great retro gaming stuff, and he chucked a load of freebies in for me. So thanks very much, Kev. Looking forward to trading with you again in the future. First up I've got, let's have a look. I've got... A Commodore Power Supply. Look at the size of that mother, it's massive. Oh! I'll put me back up carrying that. So there's that. Then he gave me a Commodore Tape Deck. Look, isn't that cool? It's so big I can't get it on frame. Now, I've no idea about Commodore. It's got this nutty end on board. Oh, I don't know. But I'm sure I'll have a use for it soon enough. If anybody wants to trade me a Commodore for something, or it's not too expensive, let me know. I have to move these to make way for the next stuff. I haven't even looked at the box myself. I want to make sure I saw it at the same time as you. He gave me some games for the Commodore. First up, I've got Kane. Master Johnny game. Side 2, very popular game. I'm being sarcastic by the way, I know that's not a very popular game. I got Zap. It's got Ghibli's Day Out, Ghibli's Day Out, Batlix, and Knife and Knife and Knife Hair. Yeah, that. Zap Magazine 27, Iridium. Well, part of Iridium. Space Gun and Kaleidograph. And we've got this one Toolbox Type and Shooter. Could do with that. Slow as old Harry. We've got a headache. We've got a headache by Firebird. Look at that. Another mystery game. It says game golf saboteurs on it, I think. I think that's what it says. Leaderboard. Mm, it's leaderboard. Amazingly realistic 3D animated leaderboard. The Mastertronic game. By the way, I haven't got Commodore 64. Oh, I am speculating. Got a mystery pirated game, Naughty Naughty. Hunt and Patrol by Master Tronic. Start stacking them up, I've got enough room. Sorry about the funny angles, It's uh, I'm getting used to this little room I'm in now. Um, let's kickstart. I've moved out of the living room and I've hewed out the space where the tumble dryer used to be. So I'm where the tumble dryer used to be. But I've got a door, so that's great because I can close it. Super Dog Fight. Gangster. SAM. There you go. Sam. I don't know what it is. Ricochet. It's a Dan Dare on the bottom there. I always wanted a Commodore. I had an Amstrad, which was just as good, I suppose. Some people would say, nah, it's rubbish. Well, I, I like my name, so. I haven't got one now, though. Um, another mystery game. Are you blurry? Hold on a minute. There you go. Rattler. Army Days. Schumacher Construction Kit. Mm. 
Mm. I, I like these clamshell cases. Let's see what's in this. Another mystery game. Oh, it could be Elvis Presley. You just never know. Toolbox audio tape. Handicap golf, World Cup and test match. I'm sorry, I keep going out of focus. And on side A, we've got Turbo 64, Derby Day and Pilot 64. We've got the Commodore 3 Complete Games, Sheep in Space, Taking the Mutant Camels, Aqua Blaster, UDG system. I've got no idea. Then we've got Trogue Masters game, Red Max, another Zap Mega Tape with Paradroid. Rainbow, Spy vs. Spy 3, and Double Dragon 3. Superb playable demo. But we all know Double Dragon 3, shite. Um, Commodore 64 introductory audio tape. Have a listen to that in the car. Yes, I've still got a tape player in my car. That's how old my car is. Pulse. By Interceptor Software. Another demo tape. Deliverance, Stormlord Deliverance, there's two full games, and then Fire Eagle, Chrome Brothers, and Alien Smash. The request for Quintana Roo. It's the same on both sides. Yep. So, Quest for Quintana Roo. We've got Blue Thunder. We've got Boulder Dash. Tape. That number one hit smash music. Oh, it's probably got a game on now. What do you reckon? Another mystery tape. Can't really read it. Fallen off. Ring of Power. Look at the massive stack of games here. Speaking of Mastertronic. Awesome. Operation Wolf. But it's empty. Yeah, it might be in the bottom here somewhere. Another uh it says game sprites. Then we've got Ooh, I can see that. White lightning. So I can show you. White lightning. Key to professional game design. It's a very cool box. Oh look, some like awesome game that you can make. Oh dear, it's just take two. Oh. Very cool case though. Like that. No, I've got to move all this stuff because I haven't got enough room. Hold on, I'm thing in the box. It's the main stuff. Commodore 64 Library Computer User Manual. So when I get a Commodore, I know what to do with this. I used to read my Amstrad one all the time. I mean, I didn't learn anything, but I read it all the time. Let me just move this stuff. So the meat and potatoes of this video. First I got ZX Power Supply. Now, why would I need one of these, you wonder? Well, funny you should say... Actually, I just removed it. Everybody knows what one of these looks like. I've got a Kempston joystick expansion. I don't know a proper word for it, I think that's right. I'm still new to all this stuff. Why would I need one of these? Well, it's because... Ah, oh, got one of these. Look at it. Oh, pop, pop. I had to do that. Would you look at that? It's an issue to 
Sinclair ZX Spectrum. It's lovely. I need to get a tape wire, which is on the way, by the way. Isn't that nice? Now, I've got a plus 2A, but people keep giving me crap saying it's not a proper Spectrum. Well, now you can all shut up, because I've got a proper Spectrum. I'm going to plug it in next to my 2A and play the shit out of it. Kevin was nice enough to give me this for a little trade. And I hope to be doing more trades with Kev, because he's got some great stuff. So, I'll be playing this a lot. Ooh, let's plug in the uh, expansion. Mm. Let me have a look, hold on. Oh yeah, you'd line that up like that, is it? Uh, 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 hold on. Hold on. You line it up like the uh, no, you line it up like no. Hold on. There we go, a marriage has been made. Look at how cool it is. And it's got the oh by the way, it's been composite modded. So no fanning it on, tuning it in. I could do with my two A, even though I could get a wire for the two A and I don't I haven't bothered yet. But, oh sweet baby Jesus. What else did I get? I got a few other bits this week actually. Um kind of related but not really. I got where have we gone? I got some of these little Star Wars micro machines figures. Get a good click on them. There, they were only a pound. They're cool. Don't know which ones they are or anything like that, but uh, they'll look nice in my little office. Oh, Kev gave me this. A 64 gig USB key. Now what, you say, oh, well, that's not very interesting, but it is, because on here is a RetroPie Amoebian image. Now I got one a couple of weeks ago, but um, it's got a lot of graphical problems. But Kev says this one's perfect, so I'm gonna burn an image. And then he says I can share it with you lot. So if you want an Amiga Amoebian image all ready to go with all the games on, uh, watch out for that video, but it'll be later in the week. I also got some Mario figures. Now I've got some made to put plate things like this and leave them out. But I get them. These are only six pound ninety nine in a local shop here. Got Mario and you got Luigi. Sorry about that. Real accent. And of course, what retro gaming fiend would I be without the brand new copy of a retro game arm? Um, I haven't read the other one yet. Well, previous months yet, but um. Yep, loads of Super Mario Kart stuff in it. Okay, I hope you liked that. I did. I really liked that. This has been Retro Tick 100. I'll see you next time.